So this is a quick tutorial about particles. Make a plane, come into particle settings, set up your particle system, like 50 in the numbers, uh, 2 in the velocity, and maybe some brownie motion, no gravity, and you put this plate to 0.01. I'm going to have an end of emission of 50 and a lifetime of 50. And I play it. Looks about right. Let's put in a force field, a turbulence, put it like 2 meters above, and the strength to 2 and the flow to 0.5. Play it again. And yeah, they are somewhat heavy. Let the lifetime be 100 and the normal velocity 3 and randomization of 0.2. Let's bake that. And now comes the secret sauce. Do another plane. Edit it. Do a loop cut on the x-axis. Delete everything else. So you have one line with two points. Put it in the x-axis. One meter so that the first vertices at the zero point. Now put in geometry nodes, we will need that later, and put in a particle instance. Now I grab my plane with my particles, and as soon as I do that, you see our lines are on the particle. But to make that even better, come down here to create a long pass and everything vanishes. So come back to the geometry nodes. First of all, set a subdivision surface or subdivide mesh. We will need that later and put in a transform node. And we will connect the rotation and the scale and maybe the subdivision. So now what happens is, if I rotate my line around 90 degrees, I get splines. But they are not very pretty. So I come here to my levels slider. And from now on, I can animate that. And I can change the amount of splines. And to make that a little bit more interesting, put another geometry node after that. We get mesh to curve and the set radius and we get a spline parameter and from the factor we want to map range that so now it's from 0 to 1 but we want it from 1 to 0 and then I put in a float curve and a curve to mesh. I get a curve circle, set it to like 8, connect the radius to the radius. And now we have this contraption. I can lower that here. So yeah, and as I 
had like 50 emission in a hundred lifetime, these should be reaching their end point at around 150. So I linear that and now those clients will behave like our particles do. And to make that a little more interesting, put a attribute, capture attribute, get a color on the spline, set that to random, output that in the geometry or notes modifier, give it a name as random, get a material, a set material, provide a material as random, and now come into the base color, and I change the color to attribute, and put in my as random, and when I now go into the shader editor, it's already connected, and I come in with a color ramp, put the first thing to like a greenish and the second thing to like this a little bit subsurface hue and saturation put the value down the edge on the viewport all right So there you go.